Welcome to another edition of Retro Recast, where we recast your favorites from the 80s, 90s, and today. I'm Ralphie D, along with JB. JB, what are we hitting them with today? Today is 1984's Splash. Oh, man, I love this movie. I do, too. I remember going to see this at the theater. And it was well casted. It was, but what are we going to do? What we do best. Well, we're going to start with Dr. Ross. He's the villain, the one that wanted to do the sector. And yes. Yes. Cut that tail off. I, I chose one of my favorite comedic victims. Or uh, villain. <laughs> victim. <laughs> Even better. One of my favorite comedic villains. I yeah. chose Werner Kempler from Hogan's Heroes. Ah, is that Mr. That's uh, Clink. I saw nothing. No, no, that's John no. Banner. No, right on. Uh, Werner Kempler was uh, Colonel Clink. Colonel Clink, yes. yes. I love Prussian helmets. Uh, <laughs> well, I chose one of my favorites. This guy actually used to scare me. I used, I love that movie, The Cannonball Run. And he played a doctor in that movie. Uh, Jack Elam. He was the guy who like stuck his finger in his ear and smelled it. Weird guy, but really, really creepy. So I think I got you on this one because I don't do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got you on this one because no one else knows who he is. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right. Next we have Mrs. Stimler, their yeah. trusty secretary that recently got hit by lightning. lightning. <laughs> 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 kind of kooky She's bananas. Wearing a bra on the outside of her shirt. <laughs> so good. I chose another comedy legend, Cloris Leachman. Yeah, she's good. Damn it, man. That's, that's good. That's real good. Well, I went... Uh, Almost the same way. I, I, I chose Charlotte Ray. I mean, who wouldn't love to see Mrs. Garrett with her bra on the outside of her <laughs> clothing? She's great, man. <laughs> the best! All right. Rest in Mrs. Peace. Garrett. <laughs> Next, we have right. Freddie Bauer. Yeah. This was uh, the main character's brother. Right. Kind of goofy, kind of silly. And very pervy. Yeah, he's pervy. He's big, he's too. Walking around with a penthouse magazine most of the movie. Yeah, for him, I chose Don Bellamy's. Uh, you know what? I had him down. Had him I down. had him down, but I took him off. <laughs> yeah, and I, I and I wanted to go with a portly guy, but then I said, you know what? My guy, he's going to be tall. That's going to be his thing instead of being portly. Mm -hmm. I chose John Larroquette because um, he's kind of a pervy guy and yeah. great comic timing. You know what I mean? Let's oh, do it. What's next? Right. Now we have Walter Cornbruth. Yes. Bluth. Corn Bluth. Say that five times fast. Walter Corn Bluth. Already messed up. <laughs> okay, he was the uh, semi villain. He was villain with a change of heart. Right. And for him, and he was perfectly cast. He was. He can't beat it. But I chose one of my favorite comedic actors, Christopher Guest from Spinal Tap. Yeah, that's damn. That's good. I like it. I don't know. You 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 could be uh, you you jabbing me on this one. I'm trying to bite All right, you. Good <laughs> I'm saying. Uh, I, I chose one of my favorites, Ed O'Neill. Oh, that's I like that. Yeah, I'm saying I it's like that. Booty time. Yeah, <laughs> across the U.S. No man. <laughs> All right, what's right. up next? Next is Madison, the uh -huh. mermaid. Yes. I hope that's not a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> she is a mermaid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for Madison, I just wanted someone who didn't didn't need to talk much. Looks good. I chose Heather Locklear. Oh, there you go. All right. Nice and chauvinistic on this one. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's good. But uh, once again, Radon Chong. Come on. Great looking. Doesn't need to talk uh, much. <laughs> she didn't need to be blonde. Why does she need to be blonde? I'm sure. Yeah. The ocean she bleached her hair. Blonde, Whatever. Man. She doesn't need the to be blonde. little mermaid. She had a perm too. I and it's not just that. because the little mermaid is now African American. <laughs> <laughs> but we go and read on John sir. What's the main character? The main character is Alan Bauer. Yes. Love interest to the mermaid. I know you're going to hate this one. You know I will. Because he does comedy, but he hasn't done a lot. George Clooney. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, brother, where art thou? Yeah. He, no, he doesn't. In 1984, he wasn't even on TV yet. I gave him his first time. break. <laughs> All right, that's fine. You know what? <laughs> fine, I'm not going to hate on it, even though I hate it. <laughs> I mean, um, you know what? I don't know if I even like mine. I'm going to put Michael <laughs> J. Fox for some reason. Ooh. Yeah, you know, uh, Michael J. Fox, he's great. He's a. Uh, Always known as Alex P. Keaton for sure, but I mean, best comic timing. I, yeah, this is this is it, Michael J. Fox, baby. Look at him; he's perfect. No, my my producer says no. Okay, well, anyway, we'd like to hear what you think. 
leave us a comment down below and let your opinion be heard or whatever. And I'd like to give a shout out to my man AM at Comics Most Wanted. Like him, follow him, subscribe. Ah, uh, I've done it. Pull yourself together. Together. Together.